right, can everybody hear me? Yeah. All right. Okay, well, my name's Rick Reese. I'm one of the captains here at North County Fire, and we're going to have a special day for you today. Have you guys enjoyed your day out here with all the props? Yeah. All right. Well, I want to tell you some statistics real quick here. In the United States, there's over 3,000 fire fatalities nationwide. Of those 3,000, 80% of the fire fatalities happen in the home. And one of the problems we have is we don't have an early detection system such as smoke alarms that are operating. How often should we change our batteries? Who knows? Every six months. Every time you change, every time you change your clocks, okay? And then also what we're going to see is a demonstration about fire sprinkler systems. One of the neat things is our builders in the California nowadays are building homes to better protect us, not only the public, but also the firefighters. We're going to see as long as these burn, we're pretty good at putting fires out. Hopefully we're good at lighting fires. But hopefully this thing is going to demonstrate for you today how well a, a fire sprinkler system, a residential sprinkler system, works in the house. We're going to see how fast fire builds and continues to build in the non-sprinklered building. And then in the building that has a sprinkler, we're going to see how much more it controls it. When we respond to a fire, when we get the alarm, by the time you call 911 and we get, get out to the engine, we have to get dressed in our turnouts, get ready to go, arrive on scene, pick up a fire hydrant on the way to you, get the hose pulled and everything. We're actually at a point past what we call flashover usually. And that's the entire room of origin will be fully involved, if not other rooms around that. With the sprinkler system, it will hold the fire in check. What it does basically is it buys us time to put the fire out, if not put the fire out completely on its own. The other thing it does that's even more important is it gives you time to get out of the house safely. So we need two things. What's the two things we need? Up on the roof is what? Smoke alarms. And what's the other thing we should have in our houses? Sprinklers, fire sprinklers, okay. Are you guys ready to see these burn? Yeah! Alright, you ready Danny? She'll, she'll time it for us here. Home plumbing is three times more likely to cause water damage to your house than a fire sprinkler system. Okay, right? We're at 15 seconds right now. The fire start. Do you hear that? Smoke alarm has been activated at 15 seconds. We have plenty of time to get up and get out of this house right now. As the fire starts to go from what we call the incipient phase or the beginning of the fire, it's in what's, what's known as the growth phase right now. It's going to start catching other things on the room, in the room on fire. As you can see how thick the smoke is coming out of there. That's why kids, we get down low. We get down low and we get out of our house and we feel the door to make sure it's not hot. One minute. If anybody here has asthma or anything or gets affected by smoke, you might want to move in a different direction. Especially my son right there. So Nathan, go that way. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, the flames are up this high up the wall right now. It's just coming out of a small wastebasket that's less than a foot tall. Yeah. The side of the couch is lighting on fire, and the curtains are getting involved now. One minute, 40 seconds. So at a minute 40 from the time that this fire started, we are just getting out of the fire station to respond to this fire right now. It is now two minutes. What's that? Yeah. Yeah. Two minutes and 15 seconds. The fires would be rolling across the ceiling 
Temperatures at the top of this ceiling are going to be reaching 1,000 to 1,200 degrees. And of course, our wind just had to shift. <laughs> Two and a half minutes. We see the walls, the furniture, and the end table have started on fire now, just from the radiant heat coming across. What time are we at now? 2.53. 2.53, so in less than three minutes, this is how involved a room will get. Like I said earlier, a fire will double in size every minute. Now think about if you were upstairs, where most men, who has a two-story house? If you were upstairs, this is where all that smoke is going. This is why it's so important that we have ladders. Three, three minutes, 20 seconds, we've reached flash over all, even including the carpet is on fire. We can put the fire out. This is why it's so important that we practice with our children about exiting the home when we hear a smoke alarm going off. You have to get out of a house very quickly. Everything in this room has burned, including the carpeting. In three minutes, and what was the time? 321, every part of that room was on fire. Who has a ladder in their second floor to be able to exit their house? If you don't have a ladder, guys, it's really important to get that ladder upstairs because this stairwell, if this happened downstairs in a living room, the stairwell is going to be impassable from the smoke. It is going to be so hot. The other important thing, when we put our children to bed at night, that we close the doors to their room. And I know some of our kids don't like that door closed, but they'll go to sleep pretty quickly and just go back in there and close that door. This keeps the smoke from getting into their room and you buy time to be able to get them out. The next prop that we're going to see will have a fire sprinkler. Once, it, once they get this out and cooled off, you'll be able to see how much damage is in this house. It's hard to see, but the entire couch is burned. There are no cushions left on the couch. There is nothing left to the back. All the walls and the ceiling are charred. The end table is charred all the, way, all the way around it and the carpet is all melted. That happened in three minutes and 20 seconds. All right, you guys ready to see a sprinkler building get lit? All right. Now fire sprinklers cost less to install than your granite, granite countertops. And we're gonna see what a difference fire sprinklers make. Okay, we have ignition. You guys can see the fire starting that couldn't see the other one in the corner back here. 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Smoke alarms activated. Do you think you guys could get out of this house with this smoke alarm going off right now? Is this fire survivable? Absolutely, that's the importance of smoke alarms. If you have not checked, right now, 30 seconds, the sprinkler went off. And it's controlling this fire. So what happens is we get on scene of a sprinkler system, we're gonna go in, make sure the fire's out, and then we will personally shut the sprinkler system off. The damage on this house over here in this bedroom, you will have smoke damage and fire damage all the way down the hallways, throughout the living room, wherever this room is, it's going to involve at least three to four additional rooms. It's gonna have a lot more damage than what the sprinkler system is going to damage in this house. This is a survivable environment right now. You can, you, this buys you time to get out of your house. 
The fire department arrives now. We can start to advance in. We see the little fire off the corner. They knock the fire out. So at this point, I can radio out to the engineer to go into the garage or to the main water supply and shut off the sprinkler system. Sprinkler system shut off. Do you guys see the difference in the damage to the furniture? All this furniture has smoke damage, has fire damage, but this is a survivable incident. With fire sprinklers, it buys time for us. And a lot of people that are against fire sprinklers or they're saying, hey, it's gonna break and flood my house. How's the damage look between these two? What house do you wanna have? That one, that one. Fire sprinklers will go off between 135 and 165 degrees. And not every sprinkler will go off at once. Only the sprinkler that's affected by the fire. Let's give a hand to the firefighters here. Okay, if you guys have not already been through all the displays, we got two places I definitely want you to go. The white tents here are gonna have uh, all the people from the fire marshal to the sprinkler uh, experts. Everybody that, that uh, knows everything about sprinklers, they'll explain everything about that you need to know about this. Also in the shop here, the big building to my left, has drill a drill prop for your kids for how to exit out of a window, how to exit out of a door, and it's a great, great place to learn how. They'll also explain about having a plan once you get out of the house. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day, and stay safe out there.